how to edit your Squarespace website using nothing but your mobile phone. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online with simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. And if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. So in this video, I'm speaking all about Squarespace and specifically how you can make changes and edits quickly and easily to your Squarespace website using Squarespace's app for your mobile phone. So as you can see, I'm actually on my Squarespace app at the moment now and this is the home screen. So one thing that I will, will actually say before I go into this is that you will need a Squarespace account already set up and a website already created inside of Squarespace before you can actually have access to the app. So what this means is you're gonna have to use your laptop or desktop device and actually go through the process of setting up an account with Squarespace before you can utilize the app feature effectively. So as you can see, uh, this, is, this is the kind of dashboard, the, the home screen and it shows you some quick stats so you can see your traffic, um, you can see your recently edited pages and you can take some quick actions as well. So because this is a portfolio template I'm using, I can add pictures to my portfolio if I click one of, the, click one of those quick actions. So when I click on them, you will see that it has my current gallery on there. So I can click on any image in the gallery itself and I can take a deeper look at it. Um, I can also add an image title, image description. I can add my tags, my image URL and all of this great stuff. And this is really good for search engine optimization. I will be doing more videos on Squarespace search engine optimization. But if you want to see your Squarespace website showing up in Google, I highly recommend looking at my Squarespace SEO video. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below but you can also add your own images as well by clicking on the plus icon and it will you need to allow squarespace to uh, look at your gallery so if you have your pictures in your gallery on your phone then you can easily upload it to squarespace as well so if you click on this little edit button up there it also gives you the option to remove any image as well so if you wanted to remove the image just click on the red kind of button there and it says delete image and yes you can delete the image as you please and then if you press the click button there then it will save your changes and as you can see there's a little gear icon next to the edit button and when you click on that this takes you to your settings and you can change for example your navigation title so at the moment mine says uh, port portraiture but you can change it to whatever you want it to be uh, you can enable pages are public publicly visible you can make it invisible if you wanted you can add a description for this page your uh, url slug for this page you can make it uh, password protected and add a password if you wanted to and you can also change your media so if i click on that this is the thumbnail image for this particular page and you can remove it or you can replace it with another image for this page. So uh, whatever that page is about, if you wanted to have an image for it. So for example, when that page gets viewed on social media, it will be attached to an image that is appropriate. You can also set this as your home page if you wanted to or delete the page altogether. So going back let's look at pages so down here you have home and it takes you to this page that we've kind of already gone through and then it has pages as well and if you click on any of the icons so any of the three buttons next to one of the pages you can make some changes so obviously you can delete the page completely or you can go to your settings and edit the page as we've kind of seen as uh, before or you can come up here to this little pencil up in the top right and you will notice that you can actually uh, kind of move your pages as well. So you can move where they are placed on your website. And these are my secondary navigation uh, blog kind of uh, pages. And I can move this up to my primary navigation page as well. So what this means is my primary navigation page are the kind of pages that people see on my home page. 
those are the most kind of explicit pages that I want people to see. Whereas my secondary pages are not the, the main pages that people see, but they're the secondary pages. And I can also add a page to my non-linked pages as well. So if I don't want them to be linked to any navigation at all, then I can put them down here as my, my not linked pages. So you have your primary pages up in the main pages section, your secondary pages in your secondary page section. And if you don't want it linked, then you can put it down there in a not linked section. And when you're done making changes to pages, you can click that button, uh, click but that tick button and it will have made those changes for you. Now, if you wanna change any of the pages itself, you need to click on it. So I'm gonna click on the contact page and you will notice a pencil icon again in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to click on that. And this allows me to make edits to this particular page. So I can make edits to the content. Um, when I click on it, you can see I can actually edit now the uh, what the text says. And if I scroll along here, there's different options. So I can, if I make a mistake, I can click one of these uh, undo or redo tabs. I can select whatever I want to select. Let's say I wanted this to be in bold. Uh, that's already in bold. So let me say I wanted this first paragraph, this first line to be bold. I can just select it, click bold. And as you can see, it's gone bold now. Um, if I wanted it in, in italics, then I do the same thing. I can copy it. I can uh, highlight it, sorry click in italics and now it's in italics. If I wanted it to link out to something else, then I can click this little link button here and select what link I want it to link to. And that text will actually become anchor text and link to maybe another page on my site or another link on another website. Um, so all of my options are here. I can, uh, I can actually highlight it again if I wanted to and center it. I can position it how I want to. I can make it H1 text or H2 text. Um, I can even add my own code here as well, my own custom code if I wanted to. So that just gives you a couple of options, you know, it's a similar, similar to what you would have in Squarespace normally to edit the content of your actual site. Now, as well as this, you can actually edit your uh, rows as well. So if I click on this little kind of plus button up in the top right hand corner, it gives me the different rows and layers that I can add. So it's just how you would on a normal laptop or desktop. You can add uh, uh, text features. You can add uh, image buttons, videos, uh, a poster, anything really that you can that you want to add a map to this particular page. So if you wanted to add in a button, for example, the click button and it adds it there. And you can see when you click on it and it's highlighted, you can edit the different elements of that button as well. So you can edit where it links out to, so on and so forth. So let's say that I didn't want this button here. If I wanted to move it a little bit higher up, then all I have to do is hold on to it and I can move it literally anywhere on this page that I want it to be. So as long as I'm, I keep holding on to it, then it will move. Um, I'm gonna move it back. And then when I, when I found a place I want it to be, I let go of it and it will be moved there. And I can also, if I wanted to get rid of this button, I can click on it and I can just select on the remove button. And similar with the image, if I wanted to edit that, I can click on the image itself and I can remove it. I can add a new image of my own. If I press, press that, you can choose your file name and your design as well. So when you have actually finished with your page, you want to click on the, the tick button and it will ask you if you want to discard your changes. So if you've made changes that you don't want to add to your site, you can discard your changes and it will go back to original or you can save your changes if you're happy with them. And also in the settings, you can change some of the basic settings of your website, uh, your marketing settings, so your SEO settings, for example, you can change some of your formats of your meta title and descriptions. You can change your logo title um, and your logo image you can change your share buttons and so on and so forth. Um, you can also change your blogging 
settings as well. So this is just a simple tutorial to hopefully get you kind of used to and accustomed to using the Squarespace app to make any simple changes or adjustments to your Squarespace website if you need to do it on the go. So hopefully you found this video really helpful. If you want to learn how you can actually drive more leads and sales to your Squarespace website, then I highly recommend downloading my absolutely free formula. It's the guide to generating leads and sales online. As you can see, there's a copy behind me, but there should also be a copy somewhere on this screen as well as in the description down below. So make sure you go click the link in the description, go and grab your free guide. It's called The Formula. Uh, go there now and download it for free and learn how to turn your Squarespace website into an income generating machine for your business. But I really do hope that this video helped you out. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section down below. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, download the formula and I will see you soon.